This video is sponsored by Polar Pro. What is up, you wonderful people? My name's Cody Warner. Welcome to Chile, Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'm here visiting my buddy Dave for his birthday. Let's talk about the new Light Chaser mobile photography kit from Polar Pro, and specifically circular polarization, why you should use it, how you can use it to get the shots that you want to get. Let's go. Okay, three things I want to talk about with circular polarization, but before we do that, let's talk about this light chaser kit. It's a case, it's a grip, and then it's this set of filters. I'm going to specifically be talking about circular polarization because it's something that I didn't understand for the longest time, and I want, to, I want you to understand it. But first, the case. Cases are important. <laughs> Just not in that they protect your phone, but in that they need to feel good, they need to look good. You need it on there to attach your filters onto your phone, but the most important factor is the swipe up from the bottom. Super crucial for me. I hate when a case covers up that bottom because then I can't swipe up with my thumb right and it's just like it just throws everything off. So crush it on the case, Polar Pro. Secondly, when you take a look at this grip, uh, it's got a couple things going for it. A, it's big, it sticks out, it's really easy to hold onto with your fingers. You can put it at different points along the phone so that whether your hand's bigger or smaller, just however you want to hold it, I like that. The actual attach and detach mechanism, the fact that it's a physical thing that clamps onto the phone is cool. I'm glad it's not magnetic because it feels like it's really snug on there. Like you, when you're holding it, you feel like you're holding a camera, which is a cool feeling. It's got your traditional mount on there, two of them, one on the top, one on the bottom. You put it on a tripod. You can screw an accessory on there if you wanted to put a mic on your phone or something like that. So if you care more about the variable ND than you do about this circular polarizer, A, you should probably watch this because you might not know how to use a circular polarizer to get what you want to get. But B, you can go and watch Zach Ramellan's video. He's got the variable ND and he's making a video about that. When you think of a circular polarizer, you most likely think of the ability to get the sky darker in your shots that includes sky and something that's not in the sky. In the shot, you can see without the circular polarizer, even with all of the iPhone's ability to do like crazy HDR and stuff, the circular polarizer really makes the sky pop out and makes that building pop. The two other ways that you might not have thought about or maybe never learned about have to do with reflecting light. So I'm here on the river, there's a cool icicle situation happening that I'm gonna take a shot of and you can see one gives you a lot of reflection off of the top of the water, but with the circular polarizer, you can choose whether you want that reflection off of the top of the water or whether you want to be able to see into the water so the light's not as distracting. Anytime there's light bouncing around, a circular polarizer allows you to choose what light you want to be entering. One of my absolute favorite things to do is shoot through glass. I just love the way the reflections play. I love kind of, it gives you that sort of what's going on here look in your shot. Some of my favorite photos I've ever taken were down in Nashville with Bobby Hicks and we we're shooting through glass, super long lens. There's, there's, those are great shots, but they're incredibly hard to get because we had to keep trying to find places where we could hide whatever we didn't want to be reflected. You're repositioning, you're re-angling. With the circular polarizer, you can choose, you have a lot more control about what light you're letting in to the sensor. If you've seen these shots of Dave, in the shot without the circular polarizer, um, you can clearly see all of the bricks on the sidewalk and they're like blocking his computer, they're blocking his coffee with the circular polarizer on and then dialed in to block out that light, you can see right through that glass. So shooting through glass, a circular polarizer makes that way easier to achieve the look that you're trying to achieve. Thanks so much for being here. Hope you learned a bit about how to use circular polarization to get shots that you, that you really love. Hope you like this light chaser kit from Polar Pro. If you do, hit that link in the description. You can, uh, you can check it out for yourself. Be sure to wish Dave a happy birthday in the comments, all right? 